Hello guys, it's Angel and again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you 30 natural and effective ways that help me with my GERD and acid reflux. I've been experiencing GERD for the past 5 years. So, medyo matagal na din. And it's really, really hard. I went to a lot of doctors, may gastroenterologist, naturopathic doctor, alternative medicine doctor, may acupuncturist, ang dami-dami ko nang napuntahan. That is why, through my experiences, and of course, I've done a lot of research, I was able to came up with 30 natural and effective ways that help me with my GERD and acid reflux. And I do believe can help you as well. For those who are experiencing this type of condition, my heart goes out to you guys. So, hindi siya madali. It's really hard. Because GERD may cause anxiety, depression, and sometimes trauma. So, I believe this video will help you a lot. So, please stay tuned. I came up with these tips, of course, to help others who are experiencing this condition. Because usually, kung magpa-check up tayo, doctors will just give us medications, a food list of what to avoid after that we are on our own ako guys trial and error na ito and these are the things that really work for me and i hope will work for you too so it's also better that you consult a doctor first but usually yung mga tips ko is more on natural so i hope that it will work for you too first and foremost you need to listen to your body so we need to know the root cause uh why this started and what are the things or the necessary steps that we can take para mas stop or ma eliminate na tong condition na ito. So of course, uh, we need to really take action and we need to discipline ourselves. So in order for us to really heal from this condition, number one is to drink warm water. So, warm water actually promotes good HCL production or yung hydrochloric acid. So, this is the acid na pinoproduce ng stomach natin. So, when we drink warm water, we will notice na mas relax tayo and we feel more calm. So, when should we drink water? So, there's a right or proper way of drinking water. So, it should be 30 minutes to 1 hour before or after your meal so why because once na nandiyan yung food sa stomach natin uh, our stomach produces acid or digestive juices and these are concentrated na digestive juices pero once na we drink water together with our meals it becomes diluted so, mas nagda-double time yung stomach natin to produce more acid. That is why we really need to follow the 30 minutes to 1 hour of drinking water before and after our meals. So, very effective. I learned this from an um, alternative doctor and it's really, really very effective. Take note guys that we should drink a lot of water throughout the day in between our meals. So, iba pa rin if we stay uh, hydrated and of course, ma-aalis lahat ng toxins and acids sa body natin. We can also take sips of water if we feel na may acid dito sa throat natin or may sore taste in our mouth. So, in order na ma-wash out yung mga acid na nasa esophagus natin. Take note guys that we are not allowed to drink hot water or cold water as this can add to the inflammation of our throat. So, we can take uh, warm water or just top water instead. Number two is to use apple cider vinegar. So, apple cider vinegar is okay for those who have GERD, pero I recommend that you try it first if okay sa chan nyo. But this is not uh, good for those who have gastritis or ulcer, so you need to use this with caution. So, you try a bit first and see for yourself if okay sa inyo. So, you can put a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and you can drink it again 30 minutes to 1 hour after your meal. So, apple cider vinegar is also good for indigestion. So, 
because it contains a lot of good bacteria and a lot of fermented raw materials that can help us improve our digestion. For those who have gastritis, ulcers, or may mga gasgas at siyan, I do not recommend using apple cider vinegar as this can worsen your symptoms at baka lalo pang humabi ang tiyan nyo. So, it's better you take uh, just warm water. Number three is honey. So, actually, uh, you can use organic honey. So, very good talaga to for acid reflux. Why? Because honey has uh, antibiotic or antibacterial properties which can help heal inflammation. So, ako, I usually uh, use organic honey and after I've eaten my meal, so I take around a teaspoon or two of honey and I let it coat my throat so I do not drink anything 30, after 30 minutes that I've taken honey. So, para ma-coat siya. This is also good for sore throat. Para ma-coat yung ating inflamed na throat. So, because may antibiotic properties si honey, so it can really help reduce the inflammation. Number four is to take probiotics. Ako, I usually don't take Yakult because, number one, it has a lot of sugar. And number two, nawawala na yung efficacy niya, especially kung hindi siya refrigerated. So, may times sa transportation, nawawala na yung efficacy niya. So, I don't usually take Yakult. I take Lactopathy na probiotics. I take one to two tablespoon after meals and it really helped me a lot sa aking digestion. So, you can, I think you can buy this at Shopee or Rose Pharmacy. So, affordable lang siya and it's really very effective. It contains uh, billions of lactobacillus that can help you with your digestion. So, when taking probiotics, actually, may mararamdaman ka na parang konting kirot or pain but it's natural. So, you can also take a uh, lac. Uh, probiotics in pill form but of course you need to consult your doctor first number five is to chew your food very well so actually before i usually eat very fast and after that i would feel really bloated but then i learned this from a naturopathic doctor that we should really chew our food very well it's really true that digestion starts in the mouth our saliva contains a lot of digestive enzymes that can really help us in our digestion. So we should chew our food very well until liquefied na siya sa bibig natin. So before natin siya lunukin. So again, until liquefied na siya sa bibig natin. And chewing food very well really helped me a lot sa aking GERD or acid reflux. Take note guys that even if we are eating soft foods like boiled egg, banana, or sweet potato, we should really chew it slowly and chew it very well. Kasi yung banana or sweet potato is starch. And once we chew our food very well, it will be mixed with a lot of saliva that contains a lot of enzymes na makakatulong talaga sa ating digestion. Number six is to eat on the same time interval. So we should not skip our meals and we should eat on time. Let's say we have our breakfast at 9, then we have our lunch at 12, then we have a little snack at 3, then we eat our dinner at 7. So, dapat same time interval. Kasi yung uh, stomach natin produces acid on those time intervals. But what if walang laman yung chan mo on that time? So, magpaproduce siya ng acid and it will worsen our acid reflux. So, it's really... Uh, very good that we eat on time. Number seven is to eat boiled, baked, broiled, and steamed foods as this can lighten the load of our digestion because this time, uh, weak pang digestion natin. We cannot eat uh, raw vegetables or raw vegetable salads or fatty or fried foods as this can be taxing sa ating digestive system at the moment because weak pa yung digestive system natin. So, we should be strict on our diet na boiled, baked, broiled, and steamed lang for now. 
para mas madali sa atin yung pagda-digest ng food natin. And our tummy won't produce a lot or more acid which can worsen our symptoms. In my coming videos, I'll be sharing with you the foods that I eat when I was diagnosed with GERD. So I do believe this can also help you a lot. Number eight is to drink green smoothies before or after your meal. So again, it's 30 minutes to one hour before or after your meal. So as this can also aid in digestion and it's very, very helpful sa digestion talaga. I actually have a recipe of my green smoothie. So you may check the link in the description below. So it really helped me a lot because uh, smoothies or fruits and vegetables contains a lot of enzymes that can really improve our digestion. So you need to really drink smoothies every day para gumaling ka ng mabilis. You can actually make your own version of smoothies. So please watch my upcoming videos on how to make smoothies. Smoothies that are tasty, palatable, not the type na nakakasuka. And this can really help you with your digestive health. So please watch out for it. Number nine is to eat fruits 10 to 30 minutes before your meal. So fruits acts like a broom that sweeps away all the toxins in our body. So before I usually take fruit as a dessert, but then I learned it's better to eat fruits 10 to 30 minutes before our meals. Number 10 is to do regular exercise. So exercise produces endorphins or the happy hormone. So of course, which makes us more happier and exercise helps us maintain a normal body weight and of course we need to do just light exercises such as brisk walking biking or other light exercises that won't put pressure on their lower esophageal sphincter or won't put pressure on our esophagus and stomach as well it's better that we are able to exercise daily or just three times a week for 30 minutes for us to maintain a normal body weight or body mass index. Number 11 is don't bend right after eating as this may cause the acid to go up and start all over again. So it's better that we stay in an upright position and we wait for 30 minutes before doing our regular activities. Number 12 is to expose yourself to sunlight early in the morning around mga 7 to 8 a.m. And do this for around 15 to 30 minutes a day. So it's really good talaga ang binigay ng just na sunlight because it gives vitamin D that nourishes and heals our body. And sunshine also reduces stress, anxiety, depression. And sunshine vitamin is really very helpful for those who have acid reflux and grit. Number 13 is do not eat before bedtime as this may cause our stomach to produce more acid. Pero just in case, if you're hungry before bedtime, you can take fruit such as a banana or an apple. So para easily digested lang siya. Number 14 is to avoid worry and anxiety as this can add to our stress. So science has proven that when we are stressed, our stomach produces more acid. I actually have a video on how to manage anxiety, so you may click the link on the description below. Actually guys, grabe talaga yung effect ng worry or stress sa gantong condition. If you can recall, before this happened, siguro stress ka or masyado kang madaming worry. So that is why we really need to eliminate worry and stress. Number 15 is prayer and meditation. Of all things that I've mentioned, this one is yung really, really effective sa lahat. Prayer and meditation. Because take note that God is our ultimate healer, our greatest healer, our greatest spiritual worker. And only God can give us that perfect peace that the world cannot give nor take away. When we are praying, we feel more calm, we feel more relaxed, and we feel that we are comforted by our Father. So, make it a habit to pray and meditate, read the Word of God, and you will feel so much better. 
to those who are experiencing this condition i really understand how you feel that is why we really need to pray hard we need to continue to trust in the lord that everything has a purpose let us cast our cares onto him because he cares for us when we feel afraid let us continue to trust and hope in the lord so these are just the 15 of the 30 natural and effective ways on how to beat GERD or acid reflux. So this is the part one. So please watch out for the part two of my video, which I'll be uploading next week. If you find this video helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell para updated ka for my new videos. And please also comment down below for your suggestions and reactions. God bless!